Walt Disney World is a wondrous place at any time. But at night, it takes on an even greater charm and a feeling of magic, as if anything is possible. Imagine what it would be like to fall asleep, only to wake up, as Jean has, and discover that you have the entire park to yourself. And what better host than Mickey Mouse? With another touch of magic, Walt Disney World comes alive, and we're on our way on a Grand Circle Tour. Each shop along Main Street, USA is different, and each one is an adventure with something for everyone. There's even a Christmas store that's open all year round, and a place to have your picture taken in turn-of-the-century costumes. On to our next destination, the Sleeping Beauty Castle, center point of the Magic Kingdom, and a fitting gateway to the wonders that await us inside Fantasyland. We join Pinocchio and bring Fantasyland to life. As with Main Street, there's something for everyone here too, such as King Arthur's Carousel. can float above the rooftops of London and then spin wildly aboard the teacups. Inside It's a Small World are hundreds of dancing and singing dolls from around the globe. It's time to leave Fantasyland and Pinocchio to see what's waiting for us as we continue our journey. Tomorrowland is the future here for us today. Now it's Goofy's turn to play host, so anything's possible. Our first stop is Space Mountain, an intergalactic voyage where guests are hurled through the cosmos. After landing, we're off to the Grand Prix Raceway as Goofy takes to the road. Goofy's driving? I see Gene made it safely to Frontierland and has already met Br'er Bear. They're on their way for a wild free-for-all aboard one of the runaway trains of the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. The Diamond Horseshoe is the perfect place to rest and be entertained after Big Thunder. After a stroll along the Frontierland Boardwalk, we arrive at the Country Bear Jamboree, a foot and musical that has to be seen to be believed. All of Frontierland captures the sights and sounds of the Old West. But what's this? It's Tigger! And it looks like we're off for even more adventures. Here we find ourselves in a Caribbean setting, complete with small shops and cobble passageways that lead us to places where tiki birds perform with a Polynesian flair. And farther into the jungle, for a trip into the mysterious waters of the Amazon. Thank you. 
And if exploring is your pleasure, here's the place to step into a world of pirates and treasures. For the brave at heart, and the not so brave, here's the haunted mansion filled with 999 happy haunts who are dying to meet you. Entering Liberty Square is like stepping back to the late 1700s and the roots of our nation. Here, it is the practice several times each day to select a boy or girl to represent the sons and daughters of Liberty. Tonight, it's Jean's turn. Liberty Square is filled with tiny colonial homes and shops that boast replicas of early American antiques. The Hall of Presidents is an inspiring look at America's road to freedom and a chance to meet all our presidents, past and present, through the life-size marvel of animatronics. At the Liberty Tree, we pause to watch Walt Disney World's Fireworks Spectacular, a fitting conclusion to our Grand Circle Tour. Has it all been a dream? Who can say? But the wonders of Walt Disney World await everyone who comes here, day or night. And there will always be that certain touch of Disney magic. 